I bought a base, which I don't normally do. Neither. Yeah. You told me that. Yeah. I bought the base. <laughs> yes. I bought the base, Grandma. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do an unboxing. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good weekend. I knew it would be. All right, so I just ordered this base. She's filming. So I just ordered this base because I'm playing a ton of gigs and I want to save my back. And uh, I thought this would be cool and interesting to try. And they're not that expensive. This base is $400. This is like the cheapest base I think I've bought since like my first base is I ever owned. Is the sound different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has lots of different, um, it has lots of different tones. So that'll be interesting. Um, and uh, yeah. So she defers to you. <laughs> she favors the Justin. Yeah. Let you sit there. Well, no, she I wants mean, to get inside the box. Yeah, oh yeah, she wants the box. Oh. She wants the box, that's for sure. Which I'll give her the box after I get this base out. Oh, wow. There you go, Kitty. There's the box. Hey, hey. Now she's acting uninterested. There's the box. You see it? She's like, yeah, but you have a box. So she's gonna go for it. going to be cat heaven. Oh, the, oh, the boxes here. And also, it's a short scale. So, you know, the scale is the length. Yeah. And this is a shorter scale than base, my base. Normally, bases are... But you, you have to get used to um, this base, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, it's not going to... It's not going to take that long. <laughs> it's really not going to take that long. Most bases are 34 inches. That's the scale. And I don't remember what this is. It might be 30 or 31 or something like that. This is your Allen wrench, because they all need Allen wrenches. Oh, this is a, uh, okay. This is just some. What kind is this? This is info. It is. Is it? Maybe you'll recognize it, sort of. You won't exactly recognize it, but you'll recognize the brand. Wow. This is exciting. We figured out I haven't bought a new base in like five years. This. This. Wow. Ooh, that's nice. That is fancy looking. It's a Hoffner, which is like what Paul McCartney used. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a Paul McCartney bass because he played the violin bass, but it's made by the same company. Yeah. I didn't want the violin bass. I don't like how they... That's not me. I didn't like how they look. But this is the club It the looks club small. Bass. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And it's a uh, smaller scale. Yeah. This will be very interesting. But yeah, Can we show the finish? It's super light. It's like a little bit glittery, right? Yeah. Like gold. That's cool. Yeah, these, they call them uh, teacup knobs, I think. Teacup knobs. Now, if I were to modify this base, which I may in the future, I would probably change out these. Because this is a cheap base. This is a cheap, for me, this is a cheap base. Um, but I bought it because it's so light. This thing is five, probably five pounds. Right? Oh, it's still heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, compared to guitar. <laughs> Um, guitars are still not five pounds. I don't. I don't believe. I mean, I'm a bass player. So my bass, my lighter bass, is probably seven. It's under eight pounds. Well, my Martin. Yeah, that's an acoustic. Than of course. That's gonna be yeah. the first that's one an, Hank yeah, plays. Oh, yeah. It's an acoustic. Yeah. Yeah, the acoustic, yeah, I would give this yeah. to Hank. Of course, this yes. is perfect for. Yeah, and it's short scale. Yeah. scale of course. Um, and it has these flat wilds on it, which is cool. I'll probably leave them and just see how that is. I don't know, who knows, maybe at some point I'll change them. But the first things I would do if I were to modify it would be the tuners, absolutely, because you could tell that they're a little bit, they're not a, they're not, um, Easy they're to a little loose. Like when you turn it, they, they, they're they not, they don't have the catch to them, yeah. you know? Um, and so the electronics. They, go, they probably go out of tune. 
Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm going to assume, you know, this is still a bass. <coughs> It'll always be better than a guitar. Guitars go out of tune, like, yeah. all the time. Just Basses are not... It. Right, yeah, pretty much. I had, I had one that had 14, um, let's see, yeah, 14 um, strings. 14 frets? Strings. Strings? Double, twice as many strings. Oh, it was a 12 string. Yeah, 12. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See how far away I'm from that time? Right, yeah. yeah. Um, and I had to, to actually tune each one separately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I spent more time tuning, tuning the dumb playing. thing yeah. than playing it. Yeah. yeah. It was a Yamaha. Okay. Yeah. How funny would it be if I bring this to the gig tomorrow instead of the other one? You would freak out. <laughs> you should, and just be like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know. That's funny. You want to play it here before you bring it in. I, I, I was joking. It was yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah, I would change the tuners. Very cool, babe. And I would change what the What about electronics. the strings? The strings are flat wounds. This one is like a little, feels a little in between almost. This, I mean, it is a flat wound, but like it's. This thing is raised, the pick board. This is the, yeah, the pick guard. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. And the, these are different because the old ones, they had pins instead of screws. This has like screws. It's like screwed in. But the other ones, they were really um, delicate. And they had a pin here and a pin somewhere down here, I think. Um, yeah, so. Pretty cool. And I'm going to have to get used to this. This is interesting, the, the strap yeah. over here, because where I have it now, it's like up here. Oh. And now it's back oh. here, so that may be more of a this way kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it'll be interesting. Again, it's been five years since I bought a new vase. So, very, um, you know, it's very It's got some um, personal. loose uh, stuff there. Styrofoam. Oh, just random. Yeah, yeah. Pretty. It, it is. It's it. nice. The tuners. Oh, oh, that's just you know. Made in China. It's made in China. It's a Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Which, which kind of, I mean, it's a four hundred dollar instrument. You know, the bases, the other bases that I have, even the black bass that I use, that you saw me play, that is a light bass. That's the lightest bass that I own. Not anymore, but, um, that is made in Japan. Yeah. Japanese bases are good too. Um, also, well, there's a lot of people that like bases that are made in Korea, but I mean, ultimately, like, my old base, that's American. Mm -hmm. They're always more expensive, and they're usually yeah. better. You know, they're usually better. But Japan has d made lots of really nice instruments. Lots of the best knockoffs are made in Japan. So, yeah. you know, this is China. China! I had a guild, and then I had the Martin. Oh, yeah. And the Yamaha was the one with the 12 strings. Uh, wow. I like the guild that I had. It was very, very good quality. Yeah. But the Martin practically played by itself. Yeah. That's what I used to say. Yeah. <coughs> well, there's like two layers. Plastic, huh? But you know, those slim uh, bases and guitars, Are you sure? they need uh, amplification. I used to play the guitar for uh -huh. um, uh -huh. in the auditorium where there would be about 200 or kids or so. Mm. And uh, so, and there was a lot of sing along kind of thing. And uh, there was enough sound that came without amplification. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, now it's feels good now. <laughs> that's correct. And it has it over the pickups. Um, I might, you know, I mean, yeah, the electronics, because that'll affect the sound. I would, I would probably change them out. Um, what would I change them out to? I would change them out to whatever fits, and also if I can find any like um, high.
higher end Hofner electronics, I would change that out to that also. Because why not? You know, like you're buying the cheaper instrument and just swapping out to better electronics. I mean, I basically did that. I did that with my Aerodyne, the black bass, the, the Fender Aerodyne. I think it sounds great. Yeah, it sounds great. I put the Marzio pickups in it. Yeah, it sounds great. There's is there something around there. Paper. Yeah, there's some kind of paper. Okay. Yeah, which is interesting. I may not even mess with that. I don't know what's going on with that. I've never seen that before. <sighs> this is interesting because it's curved. There's like, so it's lighter because this is chambered. So it's, it's hollow. Oh, also it has like that seashell mm -hmm. detail. Yeah, right a little here. bit of, that's interesting. Right here. What do they call it? Abalone? Yeah. Like this? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I'm definitely excited to play it this weekend. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Want me to keep filming? Um, that's alright. Okay. Hofner. Hofner Ignition Club Bass.